The purpose of this video is to assist you in clearly understanding the lost update problem, and how it can be solved. We shall simplify this concept by taking you on a trip to a store. Welcome to our new store, my store. What you shall witness now seems like a standard day-to-day -day occurrence at the store. However, we shall take you behind the scenes to demonstrate the unseen repercussions when the basic tasks aren't facilitated with care. Let's enter the store. The store stocks a range of household items. Here's a customer, purchasing two bottles of water. At the same time, new stock has just been delivered from a supplier. The new stock is brought in, which now needs to be recorded. Included in this delivery are two bottles of water. Both transactions are processed and stock is updated. A stock take leads to the conclusion that two bottles are missing as a result of these transactions. It's a mystery as to what could have possibly went wrong, in this seemingly flawless scenario. After much investigation, the IT specialist has recognized a huge flaw in the system. He has called up a meeting, and shall explain what went wrong. Hi guys. After much investigation, I have managed to figure out why there is a misconception of missing stock. Let me take you back to the scene of the two transactions and demonstrate exactly what went wrong. We initially had 10 units available in stock. The two transactions were initiated around the same time and both the cashier and the stock receiver make a request and receive this value as a response. They now work independently with the value. The cashier records the sale of the two items, and decreases the value that he holds to it. He then updates the value in the database. The stock receiver records the receival of the two items and increases the value that he holds to 12. He then updates the value in the database. You'll notice that the cashier's update from the sale was not taken into account, and this is known as the lost update problem. Let's take a look at the shelf. We initially had 10 items in stock. Two were sold. And two were restocked. Thus we still have 10 items on the shelf. However, due to the update of the sale being lost, the unit sold is seen as missing stock. The stock taker expected 12 units to be on the shelf instead of 10. Let us now look at the solution that we shall implement. The technique that I have implemented to solve this problem is called, locking. The dynamics behind it is basically that the field is locked while one party is accessing it and when they are done, it unlocks and is available to be accessed by someone else. Let's see how the same scenario would play out with a locking system implemented. Initially, the field is unlocked. The cashier requests to access the field. Since the field is unlocked, the cashier receives the value. The field is now locked. The stock receiver now requests to access the data, and because the field is locked, access is denied. The cashier works on his transaction. Only when the cashier is done with his transaction, he updates the field, and the field is unlocked. The stock receiver can now access the field with the updated figure. He accesses the field. The field is now locked. He works on his transaction. When he is done he updates the field, and the field is unlocked. In this way, both updates are taken into account, and our lost update problem is solved. The IT specialist has shown his expertise and is commended by all. The staff are ecstatic with their new and improved system. Unfortunately, it's time to leave the store, and bid farewell to our latest friends. I hope that this trip has provided a clear demonstration of the lost update problem and how it can be solved. 